or what we prepared for is what's in the atmosphere. So I thank God for that. Amen. Um, and the title of my message is, Which One Are You? Mm. So, as many of you know, I work in an office, and I like to look outside. I actually open up the blinds so that the sunshine can come in, because it just makes for a more peacefuler and happier moment, you know? And so this one time, I was looking out the window, as I often do, you know, just at the sunset, the sunshine and stuff. Um, so I look out there, and I see these two birds fly up. Anybody who knows me knows I love animals. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, it's, yes. it's pretty bad. Yeah, I see yeah. a dog out there and I want to run and try to save it. Or I see a horse out there and I want to go pet Touch it. it. <laughs> so many different stories. But this, this time I saw two birds. And I saw these two birds and I was excited. So I get these bright ideas in my head like, what can I do? <clears throat> I instantly think if I go see them, you know, they're going to want to see me too, right? Uh, so I go outside, I've got these goldfish. Anybody who knows me knows I love goldfish. You know, little crackers that we eat. So I'm, I'm like going to share my goldfish with these birds, right? That's like a good thing. I don't share my goldfish with a lot of people. <laughs> so I got my goldfish in my hand. I go outside, I open the door and they fly away. I was like, really? Because in my mind, they want to play, right? Right. No, they didn't want to play. So <laughs> I said, well, you know what? I'll just throw these goldfish out there, and I'll just keep an eye and see if they come back and um, come and get the goldfish. Something I could see, you know? <laughs> Eventually, later on in the day, they did come back, and that was cool. So I got to watch them, and I just observed these two little birds. And as I'm watching these two little birds, you've got one who is just kind of chilling, kind of molding around, not really looking, just kind of there. And then you've got the other bird who is actively searching for some type of food. Mm. So he came across my goldfish. And the moment he came across my goldfish, he was excited. I mean, well, I think he was excited. <laughs> he ate them up, you know? So he ate all the goldfish and I kind of got sad for the other one. Cause I was like, well, wait a minute. He ate all the goldfish, the other one didn't get any. But then in that moment I thought, I was like, but the other one wasn't really doing anything. So yeah, I was sad for him, but he wasn't actively searching. Amen. Mm. So the one who was actively searching found the gold. Yeah. And the one who wasn't didn't get anything. Wow. So it's kind of neat to kind of see that, you know? Mm, that's good. Find my notes where I am. <laughs> so I thought I was going to sit here and read it. So, um, well, you know, we can get so caught up in sleeping and slumbering that we forget to actively search for things. Mm -mm -mm. or search for what God has called us to do. And in doing that, what happens is we get caught up in the sleeping and the slumbering, that we look over at our friend who found the gold or who actually was actively searching for something, mm. and we get jealous. Yeah. Because they got what they were looking for. Yeah. In the midst, we're taking up too much time because we're, yeah. we're just chilling. Right, you know? right. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Let's see what I you have to think about it like a diamond. You know, when you have a diamond, did, was it originally a diamond? No, it started out as coal, but it had to go through a process. And our actively searching is that process. Yes. Mm, um, and it's funny because as I was sitting here today and we were doing praise and worship, God kept downloading things in my spirit. And so as I'm worshiping and I'm in that moment, he's downloading things and I can't help but to smile. Because I'm like, you know what, God? And this is before you even got up and started talking about anybody going through a test. Because he was like, it's a test. Mm, and I wow. was like, it is a test. What are you going to do in that test? Are you going to put your face before God? Are you going to actively search him? Or are you just going to chill out and watch TV and do whatever you want to do? Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is so my life right now. <laughs> mm, wow. This is so my life. And so I said, um. You know, what are you going to do in the midst? You're going to actively search. You're going to be lazy and do nothing. You know, we know what actively searching is going to get us. What else did he download? I think that was it. And I just said, it's amazing how we can go through things and become stronger through it. The reason why I say that is because coming up to this motivational moment and even coming up to the fact that I've got to speak in a couple weeks. <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, <laughs> Anybody who knows me knows I don't like being on the microphone. And I don't like being in front of people, but that's okay. We get through it. Um, in the midst of this, getting ready for this, I don't feel close to God. I don't want to say I don't feel close to God, but you feel a separation or you feel 
I guess it's like the footsteps. Mm -hmm. You know, you're like, okay, God, where are you? Mm -hmm. But he's always there. Right. And so coming up to this, um, little things have been trying to get my attention. And there are little things that I've gone through in life, like anxiety and fear and stuff. These are things that I've been delivered from, and I know I've been delivered from. Yes. But if I allow those thoughts to come in, I start thinking about them. And I start thinking, wait a minute. Maybe I am anxious right now. And I'll even say last night before today, I woke up twice in the middle of the night, heart racing. Not really bad, not like it used to be, but just like, hey, I'm here. Let the, devil, the enemy knocking. Let's see what we can do. Mm. And I was calm through it, if that makes sense, mm -hmm. how you can be calm through it. But I was calm through it, and I had to know that even in the midst of me actively searching God, that the enemy is still going to come in and try his little tactics. But I have to remind myself, and we have to remind ourselves, that we've been delivered from those things. Yeah. Completely delivered. And so it's our choice to either give in to it and yes. say, okay, you're right. Or to, to grab that mindset and say, you know what, I've been delivered from it. You yes. can't do it. You're not going to shake me. You're not going to yes, bring me God. down that road. So it's just so exciting. I was um, not excited to do the motivational moment. But as God kept downloading things into my spirit, and even though over there I'm like sitting there and I'm just writing things that he had been downloading even here today, I was excited to get Amen. up. Amen. So I thank God. Um, I hope you got something from it.